Inchai Comic Guy here with another Comics Gate unboxing. And today we have a package from, let's see who this is from, uh, D. James the Waverly Press. That name is familiar, but I can't remember who this is at the moment. Uh, but this is one of the new Comics Gate books that came in the mail. Let's go ahead and take out our trusty razor blade and open this bad boy up. This does feel like it's a fairly thick book. Okay. Sealed up in the front pretty darn well. There we are. Okay. Open that side so I don't dox myself. Open this up again. Oh, well, this, this is one heck of a reveal, isn't it? We, we've got everything just like, just waiting with anticipation. And this is Spawn? Why am I getting Spawn? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I remember what this is. Uh, this is uh, basically reissues of uh, Cerebus in Spawn. I had completely forgotten that I had even ordered this. And, of course, the big thing about this is that these are like classic issues of Spawn from like way back in the day, like first year Spawn. There's really not much in the way of new content here. Let's just go ahead and pop this open. Come on, there we go. Someone felt the need to put two pieces of tape on there. One would have been sufficient. Okay, so get that out of the way. What do we have in here? I keep bumping the camera. Sorry about that. Um, so we've got um, some Cerebus cards here. Okay. Uh, black and white version of Spawn artwork rather than the color version and we see Cerebus prominently featured as like this whole thing with the guy's kid I don't remember this from the book was this a later story that he did that I was not aware of no 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 there's all the superhero arms coming out of the cage. You would actually see this homaged years later in Marvel. And um, I hate to say it, but Marvel kind of did it better. And I, I do love Todd McFarlane talking about how creators are being held back and these characters are being held back by huge corporate interests and that people should... If you're a creative person, if you're an artist, you should have the right to get out there and actually go ahead and do something with these characters and the the people should just let you over at Marvel and DC. Then he turned around and sued the people that helped him actually launch Spawn, create Angela and all these different characters because it's like, oh, well, it's my creation, not yours. You're just the writer who came up with the idea. How dare you ask me for uh, money and ask me for your right as a creator? How dare you? Yet, Todd McFarlane, talented guy, good businessman, backstabbing prick. Talk about an unyielding fraud. The guy, he, he sits there and talks about and advocates for creator rights. And the moment he has the opportunity... To live by the principle he espouses, he falls flat on his face. A little Superman Doomsday reference. I just don't remember him having a scene with the kid. But yeah, so that is a copy of Spawn from Dave Sim. This one in black and white. With some cards. We'll put those cards back in here. 
I mean, I, I don't really feel much of a reason to actually go through the process of reviewing these books beyond just showing you what I've got here. I mean, after all, uh, this, this is a book that's already been made, already produced. This is another copy of the same book? Did I really order another copy of the same book? Uh, apparently so. I, I guess that's just what was in the package. So... Okay, so no reason to go over that again. After all, we already read that one. Um, we got two more. I, I suppose these are probably color versions of the ones that we just saw. And someone once again went overboard with the bleep and tape. Come on. Again, one stick of tape will do, numb nuts. Okay, let's pop these things out. You know, bagging and boarding is great, but you don't need to go overboard with the tape, number one. And number two, if you're using a cheap bag, a really thin, low-quality, crappy bag, then really don't go overboard with the tape. All you're doing is making sure that the bag gets ruined. Um, Therapist as spawn. No, this, this is just another black and white copy. Is that all this is? Is Dave Sims' version of Spawn? With different little cards and in black and white? Yeah, that's, that's all this is. Um, 26 years and 3 months since this was made. All right, so, yeah, that's what this is. So there's not much to say about this one. Uh, I, I I don't even feel an urge to go ahead and score Dave Sims' work. Not because I have anything, you know, bad about saying anything about Dave Sims, nor do I have anything positive. Dave Sims was an influential, influential creator back in his day. Yeah, again, you overdid it with the tape. I can't even get this back in. I'm going to use my own bags, just replace those junky, cheap bags that this thing was included with. Anyways, I, I don't have anything positive or negative to say about Dave Sims. I know he's a controversial figure. I know that he's done some things that are, how shall we say, uncouth. Uh, but no, uh, it's just this was a thing that happened. Th this was an event that occurred. Dave Sims, once upon a time... Did a issue of Spawn. Uh, Dave Sims, from what I understand, has some medical issues that actually prevents him from, you know, really drawing anymore. And he kind of got himself blackballed from the entire industry for making some very poor choices in his personal life. As far as who he decided to court in a relationship. And I ain't going to go any further than that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is what I got. I don't really want to do this, but you know, okay, we'll pull out the calculator. We'll go ahead and we'll do this. So packaging, it came in a Gemini mailer with some crappy bags, but overall it's very well protected. So that's a three. Uh, the cover art, we have multiple covers. Dave Sims cover art for this it still looks good even years later. Uh... It was definitely, you know, interesting for the time. I mean, this is definitely not the original versions of the covers. We have multiple versions of the covers. I think this one's probably the best one. Uh, but, yeah. If, if I had to give the covers, you know... I, I, I guess I would give it a four on the covers. I mean... The, the best cover is a 4. The best cover is a 4, and it was interesting. Uh, interior artwork, it's classic Todd McFarlane. That's worth a 4 out of 5 right there. Uh, the coloring, uh, well, there is none. So we're going to skip coloring. Uh, the lettering, again, you take a look at this, and you've got uh, Tom Orzakowski. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's how you pronounce it. You got his lettering in this. 
His lettering always looks good. It's the gold standard. Uh, this is earlier on uh, when they were first, you know, creating the lettering format for Spawn. And I have to say, the lettering without coloring definitely is not as impactful. Uh, but I would still go ahead and give the lettering in this particular book a 5. And that brings us to the writing by Dave Sims. Again, this this is a one-shot. It, it's, it was never that very compelling in the first place. It's well done, but it's not terribly interesting. So I'm going to give it a 3 because this is just Dave Sims' social commentary on the comic book industry from, you know, the 90s. So there we go. Uh, 19 divided by, uh, since we're not worrying about coloring, 5. So this gets a 3.8. So yeah, if we give this thing a score, the score is going to be a 3.8 out of 5 stars. Um, but yeah, that's this book. And not exactly the best book to restart my reviews with. But that's how the bow breaks, right? So tune in next time for another Comicsgate review. Uh, I am, of course, your host. Inch High Comic Guy, and I encourage you to like and subscribe and to hit the bell notification, follow me on social media, and I will talk to you next time.